They were looking for a lifeline and they finally got it. The People's Society had long ago given up on, but as I found, they got one last chance that actually made a difference. Janelle Single wants to be a drug rehab counselor. She is 12 short months away from getting her degree in psychology and a world away from a life that should have killed her. You would be amazed at how many people want to get out of the lifestyle that we're in. A drug addict, a regular at county jail, a mom denied custody, and her crowning achievement, a federal prison term for counterfeiting. Janelle, you're a federal ex-con who was in prison for counterfeiting U.S. currency. Why do I really want to care about whether or not you get back into society successfully? Because it's that thinking and that mentality that keeps us out there. But what's happening in there, inside federal court right now, is exactly what folks like Janelle have been begging for. The opportunity to prove to the system that they are worth saving. This is the first graduation ceremony for our federal district court's new sobriety treatment and education program. STEP for short. Every participant an addict, an ex-con, a lost cause in the eyes of employers, renters, society. However, not in the eyes of federal judge James Hutton. It's, it's always um, interesting to me to see how well people can do when they're given a chance, uh, even though when you look at it within the four corners of the paper, you might say, eh, there's no chance. Membership has its challenges, sobriety, a job, stable housing for at least a year, and mistakes have their consequences. And we're going to um, give you a curfew of 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. Danny Nash faced his demons and turned it around. Yeah, it'll work for anybody. It's a great, great program. Yeah. I couldn't believe it helped me. It did. It, did. it, was, it was a great. And today's graduation was Janelle's finest hour. I am proud to be part of this program. And I hope you're proud of me. Janelle has her kids, a job, and her future back because someone offered her something she could have never gotten on her own. It's the mentality of people slamming the door in our faces saying that, I don't think I can trust you. I don't think you can change. That keeps the cycle going. And that it does. All of the step participants who complete the program are rewarded with a one-year reduction in their supervised parole. Now, that may not sound like very much, but every participant we spoke with called that a huge motivator.